some of us just gotta learn the hard way. Don't give a damn, nobody gotta say we need to settle now. What's up guys? So today is a travel day. It's about 12.30 right now. We have to leave for the airport around 1 because our flight is at like 3.30 and we got to drive like an hour to LAX as usual. I hate it. Uh, once again, my uh, travel tattoo is coming in clutch. So we're going to Kansas today. It was Kim's birthday yesterday. So we're kind of celebrating that and doing a couple other things while we're there. I saw Bob and I thought it was a person. Bob's just chilling in the garage. And I got all of my new travel stuff. I got my new toothbrush. I got my new bags and all this stuff and everything is so organized and neat. So I'm super excited to travel. Um, the suitcase I got actually has, as you saw, it has like a um, portable charger built into it. Not that I necessarily need it. So I have three charging cases along with another portable charger and all this other stuff that I don't even need. But just trying to think of like things I need to do before I leave. I'm gonna download some music on my phone, I think. I'm charging everything while this lens is dirty. So yeah, we're flying to Kansas today and then I leave a day earlier than Tanner does. I leave on Friday afternoon because I have to make it home in time to meet my dad here back in LA because my dad is coming to visit. We're gonna go to Laguna. I'm definitely gonna vlog that stuff. It'll be super fun. Yeah, I also hope you enjoyed that uh, GoPro intro of a day in the life of Mike. That's pretty much what I do every single morning when I wake up is all the stuff that you saw. So, and yes, by the way, my room actually is that organized. Um, it always stays that organized. Ever since I've been here, I've been super like, I don't know, super clean and like tidy and I make sure everything I need is like in perfect spot. So yeah, I am gonna finish getting ready, make sure I got everything done and I'll see you probably at the airport. All right guys, so right there airport now. We are half in a hurry. It's a little windy up here. We had to park in the room. It's so busy. It's literally a Wednesday in LA and it's busy at LAX. I don't even understand, but uh, we are going down to the airport. We're at the parking structure. We have about an hour, so we're gonna hurry. All right, so we kind of just barely made it, but we're about to get on the plane now, and here's my new luggage. I'm uh, super excited about that. Yeah, and of course, we got the front row because that's just what we do every time. <laughs> Of my favorite part about sitting in front, not only is the, is the leg room, but you get to be the first person off the plane. So literally zero waiting. Yeah! yeah. I see them. Ah. 72 hours later. Yo guys, it's actually not 72 hours later. It's only like maybe a day later. I don't even know. It's, not, it's only like a day and a half. I spent a day and a half in Kansas with uh, with Tanner. We went tubing and jet skiing and stuff like that. And yeah, now I'm already back at the airport and I'm leaving a couple days early before Tanner because my dad is coming to visit me in California. And when we originally booked this ticket, I totally forgot about it. I totally did not know the date that he was coming. And yeah, my dad's flying in tonight at 11 I should I'm flying to Minneapolis right now it's about an hour and a half flight and then I'm heading um, from there to back to LAX and uh, I don't think I have any time to go to the Sky Club we'll see if I do I don't even know if I'm gonna make my connection actually and uh, yeah so we're gonna see but I'm heading there right now and then I'll be back about the same time he is 
Alright, I'm on the plane. Here, I just have to let me put my bag right here. I got my own seat in my bag because I don't want to miss my connection flight. I'm hoping that I have time to make it and I should be good. So, you're taking off and once again, plane test. Trying to not be too rude to the people next to me and like talk and wake them up or anything like that. But when we first got on the plane, we had to dock back at the gate for like 30 or 45 minutes. It took forever. We finally took off. The flight attendant was super rude. One of them was, especially to the person next to me. And then on our way back, um, we pull up and we have to wait another 15 minutes because the because they couldn't open the door or something stupid. I don't know. Or they could. They couldn't get something the jet bridge up or something. I don't freaking know. Whatever it was, it just wasn't working. So that was really stupid. Um, and I realized this today is Friday the 13th. So maybe just things are going wrong today. I'm not a superstitious person, but I thought that was pretty funny. Now I'm trying to find the Sky Club really quick. And my dad literally just landed. We landed at the exact same time, which is crazy because he flew from the other side of the country and then I flew from Minneapolis. So we're super close together. We landed at the same time. And uh, I'm going to get him some food out of the Sky Club because I ate on the plane. I don't think he did. So yeah, and I have to walk upstairs. All right, in the Sky Club, some of the best food they've had yet. Uh, they like taco bar and hummus, pita bread, all my favorites, and cookies, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go meet my dad. I brought him some food, and I'm excited to be home. Yeah, like I'm gonna be a YouTuber, but I'm gonna yeah, get him one of those cameras. Yeah, no, that's super cool. I have to say, you would be surprised how many conversations I have just by having the camera in my hand. It's absolutely crazy. Like, how many people are intrigued about it and want to know what I do or whatever and why I have a camera and this and that. And it's so cool. I love telling people my story. I love encouraging people to like follow your dreams, do what you want to do because I love making videos and it's taking me very far. So yeah. Yeah, going to see my dad now. Got some fly shit on, yeah. keeping all black outfit on. Yeah. I already bag most of the chicks that you out here trying to get on. Yeah. You just catching up to what I've been on. Yeah, yeah that's what I've been on. Yeah. I see what you're trying to do, that's not even kind of new. Yeah. 